Join me as I build the Marvel Legends M'Baku Builder figure from the second Black Panther wave of 2018. Pow and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. My name is of course Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it. Dan Who. Today we are going to review the Marvel Legends M'Baku Builder figure. So as you can see we have all of the pieces to build M'Baku from the second Black Panther wave of 2018. So to get all of these pieces you see in front of me you will need to get every figure in the wave and that includes the Vibranium Suit Black Panther, Eric Killmonger, Eusidious Claw, Civil War Black Panther, T'Chaka, and the Dora Milaje. So once you have all six of those figures, you will see all the pieces in front of me and we should be able to build M'Baku. Now I've been very much looking forward to this and I would usually build this figure live on camera, but uh, I've read online that the pieces are quite stiff and I don't want to break anything by forcing them on just for the camera's sake. So I'm sure you guys can figure it out. The arms go in the arms and the legs go in the legs. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pause the video build this properly and then come back to you. But uh, I'm sure you guys can figure out how to do it on your own. Good luck. Pow, and here we have M'Baku all built up in his glory. And I must admit, first impressions are very high. This guy looks great. Definitely gonna be imposing on your shelf amongst your Black Panther figures. He has got a little bit of weight to him. He's a decent size and um, yeah, looks great. So I would recommend anyone building him to warm up the joints before you plug the pieces in as it was a little stiff and I would hate for someone to snap uh, a piece before they've even finished building him. That would be very depressing. So that's all I did. I got a hairdryer, warmed up all the corners and then I put the pieces together and everything popped into place and it seems very sturdy now, like it. This skirt piece and this back piece are a separate uh, sort of softer rubbery plastic. I say soft, but it will hinder the articulation, which I'll get into in a minute. But uh, yeah, and the resemblance to the actor looks great. Definitely think it looks like Winston Duke, the actor that plays M'Baku. So I'll zoom in and show you that as well in a minute. Now it is a builder figure, so I thought I'd show you the height. And he comes in just under seven inches tall. But as I said, it's a sturdy figure. It's got a bit of weight to it and will definitely stand out amongst your six inch MCU collection. So uh, yeah, let's zoom in and I'll show you some more of that detail because uh, I really like it. So there is a close up of the head sculpt. And again, I do think they've done a great job. Definitely see resemblance to Winston Duke, the actor that plays in Baku. Really like it. Definitely can see him in this head sculpt like it a lot and you can see there's a lot of paint detail and sculpt detail all throughout the figure as you can see some different shades of brown there and some texture on his sort of armor this back piece here is a separate rubbery piece um that you can see there's a plug there in the back and a peg there on the actual piece and that just drapes over his shoulders and just plugs into the back so it won't fall off when you're having him displayed. And even though that's there, it doesn't hinder articulation too much as you can still get his arms quite far up. But you can see these shoulder pads here, these will hinder the articulation just a little bit as they're bent a bit towards the top. So um, you can get them up, but probably not as high as some people would like. The waist swivel is good though, so there's lots of articulation there. Plenty, I think, for a big figure like this. And again, his skirt piece is made as a soft rubbery plastic, but you're gonna have issues, obviously, if you wanna move his legs up in his skirt, it's not gonna happen, um, which is a little bit annoying. So don't expect Mbaku to be kicking anyone or doing any karate kicks in the head, because it just won't happen. But you can see the paint work uh, is decent on there. There's some definitely some dry brushing, but you can see the textured uh, sort of threads. And again, on his boots, you can see those hairy boots and with some decent paint work. There's some sort of bone or wooden shin pads, but again, there's detail on there. Some decent knee pads as well with some sculpted detail. So again, it really probably doesn't come across as well on camera, uh, but in person, you'll see for yourself. I think you won't be disappointed. He also comes with this little staff. Now this is just a simple staff. There's no paint detail on there at all, but um, he does hold it in either hand. 
and it is very, very nice. So um, I think people are going to be very happy with M'Baku. Uh, as I said, the articulation is what you would expect for a six inch figure, but it will be hindered by certain aspects of his costume. But the articulation is there. So I'll try and pose him around, um, but so far, so good. Now, as I said, the figure's got a bit of weight to it, so you're not gonna have issues with him standing up, but again, you're gonna have issues articulating his legs. This skirt piece doesn't come off. I'm guessing if you warmed it up, you could slide it off, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, so God knows what's under there. Maybe we don't wanna find out. Um, but the articulation is decent enough. My guy is just gonna be imposing on the shelf amongst some Doria Melage maybe. Um, so. Or maybe you can do a diorama of his throne from the film where he had all those, he had that throne with all those things dangling around him. Maybe someone could do that. But um, I really like this guy. Definitely like the resemblance to Winston Duke as well, the actor. And um, yeah, very happy with this builder figure. So there's plenty of comparisons we can go through. So let's start going through them. So let's bring in the main cast. I could cut away and do this, but I've got all the figures as I've reviewed this whole wave now. So again, every figure that you're about to see, there are full reviews on the channel right now. So make sure you go and check them out. So here we have M'Baku with Killmonger, Michael B. Jordan, of course, and then Black Panther in his purple vibranium suit with Chadwick Boseman. And I really like all three of these unmasked hit face sculpts. Uh, Hasbro are doing a great job at getting that sort of actor resemblance on the figures. And they just, they just look a lot better on your shelf. People come into my house that don't even like collecting toys will even admit that some of the, these figures look like their actors, which always is impressive. But um, yeah, these figures are looking really good. And I like how we can round out now all these... Um, uh, figures from the film. So who else have we got? So let's bring in some Dorio Melage because uh, I probably have imposed amongst some of these. So I've got a couple of these on order as I definitely, as I said, need a couple more of these. I think I've got one more Nakia costume coming in, one more of them costume. So I'll have two of each. Um, but he stands obviously a little bit taller than these as he should, as he is a quite a tall character. Definitely a chunkier, more imposing from his tribe. Of course, he did challenge for the throne at one point in the film. Here we have T'Chaka as well, so I just threw T'Chaka there. But T'Chaka, just a little bit shorter than M'Baku. So M'Baku is basically taller than everyone. Let's bring in a claw as well. Now everyone's falling over. But um, yeah, this, this whole wave of Black Panther figures is very, very impressive. I definitely need to build some sort of Wakanda diorama now whether they're on the throne protecting Black Panther or whatnot. But um, yeah, these figures are looking really, really good. So if you've got both waves, wave one and wave two, uh, and also the two pack with uh, Everett Ross, then you're gonna be very happy with all these figures. Again, Black Panther film was a great film and I love being able to recreate my favorite films on my shelf. And that's exactly what you can do with all of these figures. I don't even have enough room and I haven't even got Black Panther there yet. There's Black Panther, you can stand right at the front. But um, again, as I said, I'm just rambling on now, but you can see full reviews of all of this second Black Panther wave on the channel. Just to hear my ramblings and thoughts really. Um, but yeah, these figures are really, really good. Definitely some of the best MCU actor resemblance figures we've got so far. Definitely can tell who they are from a glance. Um, and I'm dropping everything now and I don't even have enough room. You can't even see, the light's not even good enough. But um, yeah, definitely a little world of Wakanda there for your collection and I'm very, very happy. So um, let's move them all out the way and say final thoughts on this guy are very good. Like it a lot. I think a few people might be a bit disappointed with the articulation being hindered by his massive skirt, but I'm, I would assume that uh, a lot of people would have expected that just from seeing promo pictures. Um, but you're not going to have him in crazy dynamic poses. You're going to have him looking menacing on the shelf amongst your collection. And that's exactly what my guy is going to be doing. So yeah, very happy. Um, great builder figure um, for the second Black Panther wave. Especially considering we didn't think we were going to get uh, this figure at all. So all we need now is Shuri. Um, and we've got all the main cast, but we just need her. So fingers crossed 2019 Hasbro send her our way somehow, some way. But um, you let me know what you think of this whole wave in the comments below. 
As always, my name is Dan W. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Lots more videos to come before the end of the year, moving into 2019. I do review every single Marvel legend that gets released, essentially. So um, get involved, hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated. And I shall see you on the next one.